Occam's razor, also known as the law of parsimony or law of economy, is named after a Franciscan friar, William of Occam, who lived in 14th century England. William of Ockham originally stated his philosophical razor in Latin, but when translated to English, it is typically worded as, entities should not be multiplied unnecessarily. This has been simplified in modern times to meanings such as, among competing hypotheses, the one that has the fewest assumptions should be chosen, or when you have a set of competing theories that make the same exact predictions, the simpler one is the better one. This is considered a philosophical razor because it shaves away any excess that is not needed to explain things. It is also important to note that it is not typically called a law. People don't refer to Occam's law because Occam's razor is more of a guideline that helps a person reason more effectively. There are many instances when the simplest explanation is not the correct explanation. It is an easy mistake to believe that Occam's razor always favors the simplest explanation, but really Occam's razor is all about not complicating things by adding unnecessary theories or complex explanations, when a simpler explanation would work just as well. In this case, the razor prunes off the excess and leaves a more straightforward answer to consider. Even though you shouldn't take Occam's razor as a strict rule of logic, great thinkers have embraced it in their reasoning. Aristotle once said, other things being equal, we should prefer a demonstration which derives from fewer postulates or hypothesis. And the even more succinctly stated, nature operates in the shortest way possible. Although this is very similar to what we know as Occam's razor, clearly William of Occam must have been in the right place at the right time to get it named after himself. As we can see from Aristotle's quotes, similar ideas have been expressed in earlier cultures before William's time. In any case, Occam's razor is the name that stuck, and its principle has aided other great thinkers in various fields up to recent times. Einstein made use of Occam's razor when creating his theory of special relativity. Einstein said a similar version, it can scarcely be denied that the supreme goal of all theory is to make the irreducible basic elements as simple and as few as possible without having to surrender the adequate representation of a single datum of experience. Or, as it is more simply known, everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. This reasoning is how we get such an elegantly concise equation as E equals mc squared. Isaac Newton is also said to have used Occam's razor while working on his theories. Newton once said, We are to admit no more causes of natural things than such as are both true and sufficient to explain their appearances. Occam's razor has shown itself useful well into modern times, as another scientist, Stephen Hawking, said in A Brief History of Time. We could still imagine that there is a set of laws that determine events completely for some supernatural being who could observe the present state of the universe without disturbing it. However, such models of the universe are not of much interest to us mortals. It seems better to employ the principle known as Occam's razor and cut out all of the features of the theory that cannot be observed. Clearly, Occam's razor is in good company with leading scientists and great thinkers throughout history, making use of its advice for thriftily reducing complexity. Thrift is relevant when discussing Occam's razor because Occam's razor is also known as the principle of parsimony. Parsimony means thrift or frugality, and if we capitalize on this metaphor, we could imagine a world where each theory or assumption costs money to use. In a world such as this, we would be careful to assemble the pieces of our theory using as few costly pieces as possible, thereby saving money and ending up with any excess shaved off through simplified and frugal thinking. Now let's go ahead and simplify and review what we've learned. Occam's razor was named after a 14th century English friar although the principle has been around in other cultures and under different names, at least as early as Aristotle. Occam's razor is also known as Occam's razor, the law of economy, the law of parsimony, or the principle of parsimony. 
It is called a razor because it shaves away any excess that is not needed to explain things. It is not typically considered a law in a strict sense. Occam's razor can be stated as, among competing hypotheses, the one that has the fewest assumptions should be chosen. Or, as Einstein might say, everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. An example of applying Occam's razor could be after dark, outside, when you see lights moving in the night sky. Thinking airplanes rather than aliens would be the simplest explanation. As we consider how to make things as simple as possible, but not too simple, perhaps we should start by simply clicking the red subscribe button so we don't miss out on future videos and great educational content. Thanks for watching.